It's so awesome that you guys are back today. You know, we've been talking a lot over the past few days about a lot of things. And you've seen my lives and the lives of many others get changed. Does anyone remember way back to Wednesday, you know, the first day we were here? Do you remember the lesson that we learned that day? We're right here. Get God's love. Right. We learned to get God's love. And then yesterday, what, what, what did we learn that we were supposed to do with God's love? Give it away. Right. Once I had gotten God's love, I wanted to give God's love away to everyone that I had met. Yesterday, we learned that I had a lot of chances to share God's love with a lot of different people. And they were able to give God's love away to other people. And what they did is they prayed and they said, God, here I am, send me. Can you say that with me? That's today's lesson. Here I am, send, send me. me. Here I am, send, send me. me. Here I am, send me. Good job. Yeah, it's, it's really great that there's a lot of people out there that got God's love and wanted to pray that. What that means is that they wanted to pray to God and say, God, I want to help you in whatever way I can. Where can you send me? I'll go where you want to help, where you want me to go, and I'll help share your love to the world. Let's meet a few of those people today that help share God's love by praying this prayer. While I was traveling on, on a long journey, I stayed with some friends named Aquila and Priscilla. You know, their, their job was to make tents. And while I stayed with them, I was starting to share God's love. And eventually, they got God's love. And after they got God's love, when I left, they prayed, here we are, send us. Hello, Aquila and Priscilla. Welcome, Apollos. We heard you talking to a lot of people. You weren't afraid at all. How did you, how did you know what you were saying? I heard what John the Baptist was saying, and I know that we should all ask forgiveness for our sins, and um, I think that everyone should do it. You're right, Apollos, but there are so many more things that God wants you to tell people. Paul taught us all about Jesus, and we want to teach you these things, too, so that you can give God's love away to everyone you teach. As Aquila and Priscilla continued to tell Apollo everything that they had learned about Jesus from Paul, Apollo began to understand just that much more how much God truly loved him. And he was really able to understand the whole story of how God sent Jesus to come here to earth and how he died on the cross to save us from our sins and forgive us from anything we had done wrong. Throughout Aquila and Priscilla's life, many people came into their home and they were able to give God's love away to nearly every person that they were able to meet. While I was traveling, through a city named Lystra, I met a man named Timothy. He learned so much about God from his mother and his grandmother. Timothy listened to all of the stories that his mother and grandmother had to teach him, and it taught him much about how God truly loved him. His mother and his grandmother told him stories about how God came to earth and died to forgive us from our sins. Now, even though Timothy was still very young, he was still able to get God's love and be able to give God's love away at any point. I've heard this man named Paul talk about God's love for us. He has said that Jesus died on the cross even though he has done nothing wrong. He even showed me that he rose from the dead. Let's read now from our holy book about God's love for us. He loves you so much, Timothy. Timothy loved God so much that he prayed. Here I am, send me. In fact, sometimes Timothy would come with me on some of my trips. And when I would send letters out to churches that lived far away, Timothy would sometimes bring them out to himself. He was a lot like a son to me, and I loved him. You know, you've heard me talk about the Bible and how much I love God, but please don't think I'm perfect. I needed people to help me with my ministry. John, Mark, and Barnabas were two people that really helped me to accomplish this task. You can read about them in, your, in the book of Acts, in your Bible. God told Paul and me to go on a long trip to tell people far away how they could get God's love. I asked my nephew, John Mark, to come with us. I prayed to God, here I am, send me, because I loved him so much. When Uncle Barnabas asked me to go with him and Paul on a long trip far away from home, I was excited and scared all at the same time. I loved being in new places, and it was awesome to see people learn about God's love for them. 
It was amazing to see people learn for the first time that Jesus died on the cross for them too. But not everyone was happy with our preaching. No. It got scary when it when it when a mob of people came and threw us out of some of the cities that we went to. Sometimes we were they were beaten and they wanted to kill us. I finally got so scared I took a boat back to my home to get away from all of it. I knew these things were new for John Mark to see. And I really believed that he could be strong as he learned to give God's love away. So and be a great witness. <clears throat> So I decided not to stay with Paul, and I went back and taught John Mark how to trust God, even when it's really hard. Uncle Barney helped me so much as a Christian. You know, remember when I said, you know, there were some oh, things I that I wasn't really good at in my life? Well, forgiving people when, you know, they do something wrong was one of mine. I mean, I thought it was so wrong for John Mark to run off when he was so scared. It was years before I forgave him. I mean, but Barnabas showed me that instead of being angry at him, I should be encouraging and helpful and help him to realize and encourage him on his path. After I forgave John Mark, I realized that I needed him to help me in my ministry. I had to learn to trust him to help share Jesus' love all around the world. And now you can do the same. Always have faith that God is with you because he always is. He loves you so much and he wants you to tell others that he loves you too. You can pray to God, here I am, send me. Well, you guys have heard from Aquila, Priscilla, Timothy, and John Mark. They all prayed, here I am, send me. And you can do that too. Let's say that one more time so we can always remember this lesson that we learned today. Here I am, send me. Great job. You know what, I hope you guys go home the rest of the summer and the rest of your life and read the Bible. Because the stories in there are true. And we really can come to life just by reading the Bible. Until then, and until you read your Bible, we've got to go. See ya. Bye. Wasn't that a cool story? Oh, those were all people that in Paul's life, those are just.